It's kind of sad that Sega's mascot also has Sega's worst franchise. Their best franchise being Yakuza, so go, go play that game, that game's incredible. But with Sonic, you never know what they're gonna do next. Maybe they're gonna give you a true Sonic experience that you've been hoping for this entire time. And maybe then they'll crush those hopes and dreams with their next release where you get to make your own furry. It is absolutely abysmal the way Sonic gets thrown around like this. It is clear what the fans want, but it is not clear what Sega wants to do with Sonic. It has gotten to the point where you can't tell the difference between actual Sonic story and fan fiction. For instance, if I told you Sonic died, and then the only way to bring him back was from bestiality necrophilia, would that be in a Sonic game or would that be in a fan fiction? Up, oh, that one is in a video game, Sonic 2006. He has to come back to life from a human making love to him. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna know. I saw the movie Detective Pikachu and the visuals in that movie, the world, the Pokemon, even the cars all stayed true to Pokemon design. It was a great live action film, but Sonic? What the hell is this? I understand they're redesigning it, but if this is what they thought Sonic looked like in the first place, I wonder what his redesign is gonna look like. And you have the audacity to make Sonic a buddy comedy? I understand that there's not much option with live action Sonic because all you really got to go on is Dr. Eggman for it to be live action. But, you know, I think Sonic would have just worked better as an animated movie. They could have called this movie Cable Guy 2 and it would have made more sense than Sonic the Hedgehog movie. They could have called this movie Jim Carrey's Big Comeback, and it would have made more sense than Sonic the Hedgehog movie. My theory is Sonic movie comes out. Sonic movie sucks. A lot of people go see it anyway. Sonic movie 2 is announced with Tails looking horrible. People are mad about it. They redesigned Tails, genius marketing strategy. Everyone goes see Sonic movie 2. Then they announce Sonic movie 3 with Knuckles the Enchilada! I can't possibly fathom how it must feel for Sonic to be your favorite video game series and to be constantly stepped on. Admittedly, I've never been much of a Sonic fan. I've always preferred Mega Man and Mario as far as platforming games are concerned, but that does not mean I don't think some games like Sonic Heroes and Sonic Mania are really fun games. I actually really think those are really good games, but the majority of Sonic games are an absolute embarrassment to whatever Sonic is supposed to be because this is not it, it is Sega's mascot. There should be more care taken into this. Look how Mario is treated. He is like the Mickey Mouse of video games. What is Sonic? Sonic used to be Mario's biggest competitor, and now it is looked at as a joke and it's sad, and I feel bad for anyone who's a fan of these games. Whenever he said, uh, meow, I revolted in my seat. I almost combusted into flames from hearing that. I don't expect a Sonic movie to have some kind of grade A masterful writing, but that shit just wasn't funny. I'm not gonna knock them for using Gangster's Paradise, because that sets the tone for the overall movie. Going to see that movie is gonna be like walking through a valley of death. If anything, it'll be a hilarious movie to go watch with friends. It may not be a good movie, it may not be hilarious because the movie itself is funny, but it, it could be like so bad that it's good, or maybe it could be so bad that it's bad, I don't know. It, it's like the directors watched the Super Mario movie and was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Or if anything, if you wanted to do a Sonic movie that was live action, you should have had every single actor wear a fursuit. That would have won Game of the Year at the Game Awards for sure. I would have gone see that movie ten times in a row. Anyway, I don't care about Sonic.